we present a new fully differentiable learning framework for monocular markerless 3D human motion capture, which allows the networks to be trained with a physics model and which we call physionical. Our algorithm produces smooth and more physically plausible results than other existing methods, even on fast and challenging motions such as dancing, athletics, sports and many others. The objective of monocular 3D human motion capture is to estimate the global position of a human skeleton along with its joint angles from a monocular video. It has been a very active research area during recent years, with many methods proposed in the literature. Most approaches are purely kinematic, which means that they only consider geometric fidelity of the reconstructed motions but not physics-based constraints of the real world. Introducing temporal constraints can improve the results as can be seen here. However, reconstruction of fast motions such as dancing is still challenging for these methods. Consequently, the captured motions are unnatural and show various artifacts such as jitter, biophysically implausible postures and collision violations. Additionally, most methods estimate root relative poses and only a few approaches can be used for computer graphics applications such as driving a virtual character from a monocular video in real time. We address these limitations by explicitly integrating a differentiable physics model in our learning-based framework. This results in much more natural 3D reconstructions compared to the current state-of-the-art methods. Here we visualize the reconstructed 3D motions from a side view and mark the starting foot floor contact positions for jumping. Compared to the state-of-the-art, our results show significantly fewer artifacts such as foot floor penetration and unnatural variations along the depth channel with respect to the input view displayed on top middle. From a video input only, we can also visualize the joint torques related to the muscle activation forces and ground reaction forces estimated along with the 3D motions, which can be useful for instance for motion analysis in sports. We next explain our physionical framework in detail. First, 2D joint key points are estimated from the input video with an off-the-shelf 2D key point detector. After applying two different key point normalizations, they are passed to the target pose net or TP net which returns the target pose of a normal PD controller, Q hat, and foot contact state for the observed scene, B. The outputs of TPNet are fed to the dynamic cycle, in which we first compute an internal force vector based on the neural PD controller. We then estimate the ground reaction force by a neural network, GRFNet. The estimated forces are further sent to the forward dynamics module, where physics laws are used to convert the forces to root and joint accelerations. Lastly, we update the 3D pose using the estimated accelerations in the constrained pose update module. Here, we introduce a custom differentiable network layer where foot floor penetration is prevented with a hard constraint. The dynamic cycle is iterated multiple times, and afterwards, we obtain the final, physically plausible 3D pose. In contrast to existing physics based methods, our physionical algorithm is fully learning based. It learns the motion prior from the training data relying on the explicit physics model. We next show the comparisons to existing state-of-the-art methods. Our reconstructed 3D motions are much smoother than purely kinematic results and look biomechanically plausible, even for challenging dancing motions, as can be seen here. The reconstructions of both Binect and Vibe are jittery and would require post-processing to drive a virtual character. In contrast, our result can be directly used to drive a character. We now compare our physionical approach with the physics-based method FISCAP. Both FISCAPs and our 3D reconstructions look smooth and natural. We notice, however, that our method captures articulations more accurately, as can be seen here. The differences are apparent when the results are shown overlaid to the input views. Unlike FISCAP, our neural network-based PD controller dynamically estimates the gain parameters to catch up with the fast motions. We perform several ablation studies to evaluate the influence of the individual architecture components and the training policies. Our translation estimation network, which is trained with canonical 2D key points, shows higher stability for the scenes in the wild compared to the conventional 2D projection based optimization.
Our fully differentiable architecture with physics-based constraints allows fine-tuning for specific motion types. Here we show the results with and without fine-tuning using 2D key points. As can be seen, after the fine-tuning, the results have more accurate articulations and better overlay to the input views compared to the network trained with 3D data only. We next visualize the results of our algorithm with and without the physics model. Artifacts such as jitter and sudden root orientation changes can be observed if the physics model is deactivated. Our approach relies on the accuracy of joint detections in 2D. Therefore, when the 2D keypoint detector fails, the results can be inaccurate. Lastly, we show more results. Our 3D motion capture can directly drive a virtual character for computer animation. In this visualization, a more saturated green hue means that a stronger torque is applied on its child joint. The purple vectors represent the ground reaction forces, which are helpful, for example, for providing feedback in motion analysis, in this case, while practicing javelin throw. Lastly, we show our 3D reconstruction with rotating camera views. Thank you.